Hey everybody, got Juliet here with me. We're gonna work a little more on our countering series. And today we're talking about countering spins. Sometimes you'll be sparring with somebody and you'll notice a little pattern that they go kick, kick, spin. Um, and then you start to make a little plan to take advantage of that. Um, you know that one, one thing that keeps coming up in these sparring videos is just the idea of scouting somebody out, just noticing. Just noticing, hey, are you lefty or are you righty? Are you open or are you closed? What are the moves you're good at? What what do I not see in your toolbox? What patterns do you get into? And the spinning thing is really a, a pattern. I'm gonna show you two effective ways to deal with it. If you mix these two together, um, then that spinner is gonna be uh, in a tough situation. So uh, the first one I wanna show you is a little hip check. Um, hip check can really uh, put somebody uh, in an off balance position and cause them to hesitate um, when they're doing their move because it is unsettling to be knocked off balance. And that's what a hip check does. So first of all, let's do the hip check technique. Here, you do it too. Just stand like this. Now load your hip up, hip up one way and then pop it the other way. All right, pop. We do this in class, and I was telling the kids that I hope their friends walk down the stairs when we're when we're working on that. Um, so you pop your hip, and the other thing about the hip check is that you want to get get a little bit low. So get underneath. Like if the other person's belt were here, I'd want to get mine under, boom, and then kind of uproot them with that bump. I'm going to get under, pop, and so this bump is kind of a like a mini swoop, pop, under and up. We used to have a student that would just send people up against the pillars with that move, almost as if it was a point. I had a reminder, like, hey, Abby, that's not actually a point in, in uh, sparring, but it, she just had fun with it. Okay, so say I noticed Juliet is here. Do face me and then do like a round kick with one leg and then go into your spin with the other leg. One, yeah, yep, yep, and then do that again. And so that's a pattern that you'll see. Somebody likes to throw their round kick. Go ahead and then they like to keep their momentum going and throw their spin and there's nothing wrong with that that's a great combination makes it hard for me to put get a turn in between those two moves it's like an automatic second turn when you're good at spinning but what i might do is see that uh, round kick come go ahead and then right there as she starts to spin i'm going to come inside of it boom and what i what i want to do is wait till she's up on one leg so that starts to come around bang and then hit the hip right there with my hip check, all right? A slightly nicer version of this is that I could just slide past it. So go into just your spin again. No, nope, just your spin. I could just slide in here behind her. She goes to kick over there, I'm not there anymore. I've gone to this back side, and now I'm doing all kinds of mean bunny ears and stuff like that, okay? All right, uh, but let's stick with the hip check for a second. So you see that round kick come, Boom, and you're waiting for them to turn past you, bang, like that. The hip check works either way. If you want to do that step behind thing, then you've got to be pay a little more attention to left and right. That's why I think the hip check is a little easier uh, to pull off. Um, okay, so now let's look at uh, let's look at a second way of countering this. That's going to be that you let the kick go by. You lean back pass as it goes by and then right as it goes by you throw your thrust kick into the body and maybe connect that before their kicking foot goes back down the ground so another like balance disruptor all right so i'm gonna have you be the good guy this time juliet so put your guard up okay so i'm gonna spin and i want you to just lean back and lift this foot and when my foot goes past you you just step on my belly all right oh, okay. all right so i'm coming through and here boom like that, all right? Okay, let's do it again. A little bit, get a little closer to me, all right? So here I come around, she leans back, that front foot comes up, yep, but make it more of a, nope, thrust, open your hip up, like that, yep. Good, all right, one more time. I come around, she leans, and, and you notice what you might need on this is like a little slide step. So as I lean back and lift this, imagine a bungee cord between my ankles, and as I lean, lift this, a little ten tension gets created, and I hop in and throw it. All right, so one more time with the bungee cord hop. All right, I come through, lean, and boom, and 
setting that right on your opponent. All right, great job, Juliet. I want you guys to react to me a few times now. All right, so you're done. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I want you guys to react to me a few times now in these different ways. So starting with, I'm coming at you with the spin, and I'm going to lead with a round kick so you know it's coming, right? So here, and then I'm going to come here. And when I get to here, your hip is going to be right on my hip, and you're bumping me while I'm up on one leg before the kick. So it's interesting with both these, you're, you're disrupting the balance while the kicker's still on one foot. You're doing it either after uh, or before uh, the kick actually gets executed. So let's do the, the first one is you hip check me. Don't come in yet because you'll eat that kick. But as soon as I start turning my head, you're going, you're turning, you're turning. I don't get a chance to kick because boom, you hip check me. See that one two more times. So I throw the round, you lean back, you scoot in now, bang, check. Okay, you do it again. I'm here, boom, and bam, hip check. Let's do the other side of the body. Ready, I throw this, goes past, you're in now, boom, don't let me kick. You keep your guard up on that just in case I manage to lift my leg up. You don't want to be doing the hip check down here and there's a big crescent kick on your head up there. So do keep your guard up, let's do it again. Here and bam, hip check. And one more time with that. And bam, hip check. All right, now you're going to let my kick go past. Lean, lift, get that bungee cord tension, little hop, and thrust kick. When you do that fast, by the way, it'd be like this, like that. It has a little feel to that. That's a weird one. All right, let's do it. I kick here, I spin, you lift. Now you hit, all right? Do it again. Bang, bang, now you hit. All right, and again, get out of the way, hop in, boom. And now you hit, and then other side of the body. Ready, I come in here, boom. You hit, let's do it again. I lift, you get out, and then you come back with that one. And one more time, we're gonna do that, ready? Around, bang, and you got me on the way back. Cool thing about having two different ones is you're a little bit unpredictable. Remember, this goes to that style, the kind of, I would call the Master Heskett style of counter attacking, where you just punish your opponent for deciding whatever it is they decide uh, to throw at you.